What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Fire Mountain video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of cooking. So my deer meat is running low and I only have two pounds of burger left, of venison burger. And the one thing I wanted to do with some of my deer meat was to do some uh, venison chili. So with that being said, since I only got two pounds left, I was like, this is the time. I, gotta, I have to use this ground venison to do the chili. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, is making some venison chili from the Meat Eater Cookbook by Steven Ranella. If you guys aren't familiar with it, it just came out. I actually just got it for Christmas, like last month. Here's the, uh, the cookbook. If you do any hunting, fishing, or love eating wild game and fish, you guys should check this thing out because it's got a ton of cool recipes. So this is actually the first recipe I'm gonna use with it. So basically my plan is, is I'm gonna follow this recipe Step by step, I just came back from the store, got all the ingredients. I, I, I matched every ingredient he has posted in this book. And my plan is to just, for this first time, follow the, the recipe completely. And then what I kind of would like to do is since, I mean, I've never made any chili before, or any homemade chili for that matter. So I'm gonna start with this recipe, see how I like it. And then for the next time I make a chili recipe, I'll maybe use the same recipe, but tweak it a little bit where I think it needed some um, extra help or in what areas I didn't like and what areas I liked and, and just start tweaking it. So maybe down the road, a few years from now, I'll have my own created recipe that kind of was structured based from this recipe or I don't know. So I'm just gonna, I just thought I'd start with it plain and simple and so here, here we go. So here are the um, ingredients we're gonna need here. So we got two pounds ground venison, the chicken broth, black pepper, kosher salt, dried oregano, ground cumin, ancho chili, pinto beans, kidney beans, tomatoes, I didn't have, they didn't have whole tomatoes so I just did it the stewed and then we got the chipotle peppers and adobo, vegetable oil, they want one large onion but these are small so I just did two, three, I should just open this book up. So this is what we're working with. There's this picture. Here's this little background story, the recipe, ingredients. Great book. So that's what we're gonna be following. I'm gonna post the ingredients right here. And now we're gonna get to work. So for the first step, we wanna heat a Dutch oven or a large heavy saucepan over the burner. And you're gonna do that over medium to high heat. You're gonna add two tablespoons of the vegetable oil. And then you're gonna sprinkle in the venison generously with salt and pepper. Working in batches, crumble the venison into the pot in large chunks and sear until brown. Six to eight minutes per batch, transferring to a large bowl as each batch is done and adding more oil as needed. Reduce the heat to medium. Add the remaining two tablespoons of oil, the poblanos, and the onion. Then you're gonna to wanna to raise the heat to a medium high heat and cook, stirring often until softened, about eight to 10 minutes. Stir in the garlic, ancho chili powder, cumin, oregano, and cook. Stirring constantly for one minute. Add the tomatoes, crushing them with your hands or mashing them with a the potato masher. Then add the chipotles, half the beans, the stock, and the venison with any juices that have accumulated in the bowl. Stir to combine, then bring to a simmer. Cook partially covered, stirring occasionally until the venison is tender about two hours. Add the remaining beans and warm through. Taste and adjust the seasonings. When it comes to serving, you're gonna wanna serve the chili with corn chips or cornbread, cheese, sour cream, onions, or scallions and chilies. Well, here we have it, folks. The venison chili looks pretty good. Now it's time for a taste test. So. 
Got a little bit of, trying to get a bite of everything here. Holy smokes. This is delicious. It's got a kick to it. It's really, it's pretty spicy. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. This is phenomenal. <laughs> I don't like, I'm not an expert cook or anything, so. Man, stuff comes together like this, I'm, I'm impressed. If you aren't really into spicy foods or don't like a lot of hot and spicy, you might want to tone down the, um, the measurements on the spices because I could, there is a kick, little kick to this and I, I love spicy food so it doesn't bother me too much but um, for someone who's sensitive on hot foods, you might want to tone down the, um, the spices or substitute the spices for something a little uh, more mild. And unfortunately, no one's here home right now to taste it with me. So what I'm gonna do is, I might have to go to work before any of the guys get home, before Taylor or Alex get home. So I'm gonna shoot them a text though and let them know that they got hot venison chili waiting for them in the kitchen. So I'm gonna tell them they need to do a, a taste test for you guys. So. Man, such great. So, here's their reviews right now. <laughs> not some good stuff right there. <laughs> it's got some nice cake to it, I like it. Dude, it does, I was not expecting that. Yeah, that's like what <laughs> hit my throat first too, like before the meat, so it was like, <laughs> kinda just punched my gullet for a second. <laughs> but uh, that's some good stuff. Wow, yeah, the meat's so good, dude. Oh, is that Brian? Yeah. Oh, what's up? Dude? What's up, boy? Please, some venison? Yeah. How you doing, man? Good to see it. We could have just walked in. Taste testing? Yeah, we're doing a little taste test. What's up? Yeah, let's try this. I just got off work. That was fun. You're getting off work? I'm You're getting off work. I'm going to work. Yeah, but this was worth it. Get to try this. For those of you that don't know, we never said this before, but me and Brian work together. We That's never, right. We never mentioned that before. Well, he's actually my boss. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of the other way around, really. Woo! <laughs> 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 it's so spicy. It's spicy. So, spicy. <laughs> so what do we have here? This is the the black tail from. It is. Yep. I I did the recipe from uh, Renella's new cookbook. Ingredient for ingredient. Yeah, so. putting the cheese in there made it a little less spicy. Yeah, it, so. it, it, it has a good kick to it. I wasn't expecting the kick. What, what is the kick in here? What I don't know. Have? There's like a bunch, there's like a few different chili, chilies, chili powders. Oh, come on. Not ghost. A Carolina Reaper. <laughs> yeah, the Carolina Reaper. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, you got to check out, what is it? Uh, chili? Kraus? I showed you, I think. Maybe. There's this one guy who slams like five of those and then slams a thing of fireball. Have oh, you yeah. seen that? Mm. He's no longer with us, right? <laughs> yeah, he might not be. Things and it's really good. Now that's a nice. That's when you know it's nice good. Meal. You know you gotta eat everything, man. All right, here we go. Oh. Nice test. Drum roll. Whoa. That's milk. super spice, but <laughs> maybe it's taste of meat, but it's good. Look I'm... at him. <laughs> Dang. Uh, maybe I put, maybe woo! I messed up on the servings, but I, I did it. Are we in Texas? I man? did it. No, it's bomb, dude. Like it's good, but it's just spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. Shit. I clean your sinuses up. Yeah, it's going for seconds, so that's a good sign. Yeah, you know. You just gotta get over the burn and like, <laughs> it's some of the best things you ever have mixed into one bowl. Oh, you had sour cream too? That would have neutralized it. Yeah. The cheese I don't usually eat it. hot stuff, but Jace has done well here. The cheese neutralizes it for me. Then you add <laughs> some more onions to get some more zest. I'm or should we be I'm thanking Renella? Real onion guy. Yeah, right? Thank Renella's recipe, I guess, because I just, I just followed man. it. This is the true critic right here. <laughs> if anyone's gonna critique it. Visually, visually, it looks really 
Let's really good. I want to hear the truth. Here. It yeah. smells good too. Let's 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 smell. Let's, 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 let's taste it. Good. Nice. <laughs> Carolina mm. Reapers, baby. <laughs> Definitely a little spice. <laughs> that's been that's been the consistent. But review. see, like it's it's Definitely like you want to keep spice. going for it though. You know, you don't, you want to keep going for it. It's you not like kick. overwhelming spicy. <laughs> Bro, I just had two bowls. Definitely a little kick, but you know, spice that's is nice. nice. Yeah, that's pretty bomb though. That's good. <laughs> Deer chili. It, like, it's to a point where it doesn't really hurt anymore, but you can definitely feel spicy. Dude, Amber's gonna little, like, freak out, dude. Sweat I'm gonna freak out. Your I'm kidding. Eyes. You just get numb. Mm -hmm. Your taste buds fall off. That's an 8.9. 8.9? Mm -hmm. I liked it. I like it. Yeah, I, I got to feel my throat. Solid. It's a lot of, uh, you can see That's a bit already. I like that. That's good Perfect. chili. Perfect. Good, 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 good. This is this is Steven Emery. Where can we find you on Twitch? Uh, you can find oh, me yeah. on Twitch. It's uh, I Munch Bots. I M U N C H B O T S. Uh, right here, linked below. I'm Fortnite expert. Hey, Do use your shit, Twitch Prime. It's yeah. Free. You can give him a subscription. Hey, there we go. With Amazon, you get a Twitch Prime. Yeah, Parati made an so, appearance on the stream this earlier today. Look, oh, I know. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was yeah. watching Emric on Twitch, and then all of a sudden you called him Parati, and really? I, I, yeah. <laughs> I heard you guys talking on the phone. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. Oh, oh I'm about lottery. Hey, what's going on over there? We're getting, we're getting all the action here. Oh my god, so, that neutralizes it, right? It's like a little fire yeah, extinguisher on there. That sour cream. Well, anyways, as you can see, everybody liked it, but it was a little spicy, so maybe tone down the spices next time. But um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you guys want to see other recipes, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And if you want to check out that Renella, Steven Renella Meat Eater Cookbook, I'll link that down below as well. All right. Thank you, guys. Peace.